Hello everyone, this is Ambi. Today we will talk about um, how to deploy a VM using a Vagrant. Not exactly just one VM. Uh, we will try to talk about um, how to how we can deploy multiple uh, VMs as well. Let's say you want to deploy a three-tier web app or something. So I, for that, you have to have uh, the Vagrant installed. That is. Vagrant, uh, I'm running it in on Windows uh, and I suggest you to also install Baboon. It's a Linux like console for your Windows since I'm doing it on Windows. If you're doing it on Linux, all this will not work if you are doing it on virtual machine. So it has to be a Linux physical machine because some of the things will not work properly if you have, mm, you know, uh, virtual machine and inside that you're trying to create virtual machine so so let's start now so i have a d drive here so i will go to the d drive let me increase the font and there i will do ls and i have cd vagrant i've created a folder for all my stuff so i will remove this three tier hmm okay rm space rf here or okay so I just have one uh, cent OS 7 VM, right so let me CD into that and let me show you what a typical vagrant file looks like right say so ls uh, cat vagrant so this is how it looks like it's too big well most of it is comments so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna neglect that ls and you can go to a website called vagrantup.com. There you have, uh, you can click on find boxes and there you have something called Ubuntu Trusty. So what I'm gonna do here is instead of going through all that, I will create a small um, vagrant file. I can run it like this, just say vagrant init Ubuntu uh, trusty 64 right I can just do this if it is not already there on my laptop or one of my uh, virtual box uh, virtual box is again the default virtualization provider so if I do this I do ls and then say variant file so it automatically has created this right but I don't want that what I will do here is I will remove this as well. Let's uh, create a project uh, directory. I will say three tier. Now let me get into that directory. cd3 tab ls. And here what I'm going to do is let me go ahead and create my own file that is touch vagrant file right so i will say notepad vagrant file it opens up a notepad you are not seeing that for now that's okay i'll show you what i did what i copy pasted there and what i did is at so this is what you have or let's say if you want to do from um, VI or Nano, you can also do that. So let me do that for you. Let me show that as well. So right now I don't have anything. I will create a file Nano. And from that, let me go ahead and type Vagrant dot configure the api version that i want to use to configure is to do type config enter two spaces that is for indenting config dot vm dot box ubuntu uh, ubuntu trusty 64 the tiny one 
uh, most used one as well so and then i'll say control o enter control x so cat so this is what i have there now what do i have to do to make it up well all i have to do is vagrant up so bringing machine default up with virtual box provider the virtual box is the default provider you also have vmware workstation you can deploy to vmware vdi or vmware vSphere you can use aws as a provider you can use another cloud service provider as a provider and you can right now shell is uh, i'm using shell to interact with vagrant to deploy virtual machines i can also use some other devops tools like uh, configuration management tools like chef salt puppet or ansible whichever you like so let's see what all happens here all right so now i'm going to say vagrant status okay it says vagrant is running all i can do is vagrant ss vagrant ssh okay so as you can see you see this information this is a default this has all the default settings what we can do here is clear and i will say exit then i will do ls vagrant status now what i will do here i want to destroy it i want to have more control i want to configure more stuff here so let's see how we can do that hmm? Hmm. am i sure yes i am sure okay so here ls uh, let me go ahead and uh, destroy this right rm space rf vagrant file i destroyed it now what i want to do here is i want to go up give a bit more of specifications so nano vagrant file here i'll say vagrant dot configure api is version 2 and i say do pipe config and uh, and i want to end it here right so and then the two spaces for my new uh, configuration define i will say this is going to be web right do web web dot vm dot box is open to slash trusty sixty four and um web dot vm dot host name i want to give a host name here maybe web dot and big one web dot local let us not be narcissistic here. Web dot vm dot network is private underscore network. If you want to look at these keywords, uh, what options you have, private underscore network, then public network, you can look it up. Um, you can check this out at the official documentation for vagrant 192.168.9.2 is that all okay and as you can see the indentation that i have done just like python two spaces is what i'm using so this closes here this closes here 
right so i'll do control o enter control x cat vagrant file okay i don't see anything wrong here i'll do vagrant status let's see what it says okay it says where there is a vagrant machine but it's not created not provisioned let's provision that now vagrant up So it is taking some time. In the meantime, um, you can go to uh, my blog, cloudishes.com. There, I have the description and the code available. Okay, clearing any previous. So it does give you kind of configuration what all it's doing, uh, what is the SSH address. If you want, you can check this information. What is the SSH configuration? once the machine is deployed. So what is the SSH authentication method? Private key. So there is a private key created. You can go ahead and check the private key uh, location too later. Inserted, disconnecting and reconnecting. Okay, setting host name. All right, awesome. So if you want to see... Okay, so here it's showing the... Uh, West, uh, I mean, sorry, host webs configuration, what port it's, uh, it's using, um, SSH key and all that, right? So let's do this. Let's SSH to that. All right. Host name is web. IP address is, okay. Now for each zero, we have 10.0.2.15. It one is what we wanted it to, right? Then, okay, let's exit. LS and uh, vagrant status. Previously, I just destroyed it. This time, I want to shut it down and then destroy it. Okay. Um, gone. Mm, just try. Yes. Okay. RF. I want to deploy three VMs now. What I want to do here is I will say notepad. I don't want to show how I'm going to type everything now because I mean, if you want to see the code, you can go to my site, but I want you to do this part on your own. I will show the content for you anyway. Content. Copy pasting. Now you can pause and do it for yourself. I'll show the okay, but it's text file, right? So I want to move this move vagrant file to all right cat. Okay, everything looks good. Um, this is my web, this is my app, this is my DB server. Uh, these are the host names for them, IP addresses, uh, networking configuration, uh, the VM box that I want to use. If you want to use CentOS, uh, you can go to, I can get those names from the Vagrant website. Let's go ahead and deploy them. Vagrant up. Okay, bringing machine. So whatever, whatever it did for the first VM. Now it is doing it for all three. Progress 90%. That's pretty fast. Let me get some water while it does that. I mean, what? Provisions all three VMs. All right, booting first VM. Awesome. All right.
SSH username Vagrant, well, default username will be Vagrant unless you specify a username in the Vagrant file configuration. Progress 90%, which uh, VM is it? Hmm, okay. Doing any previously set forwarded ports, that's okay. I'm showing you the port forwarding information too. 22 will be forwarded to 2222. Now the third VM, app. We are waiting for app. I believe app was the second one. Okay, awesome. We inserted uh, which one are we waiting for? Of course, for this to work, you should have VirtualBox installed. VirtualBox is the default virtualization provider because it's free. It works on all the available platforms. That is Mac, Unix, Linux, Windows, you know, all, all flavors of Linux, Unix, Mac, Windows. Okay, we are waiting for the, um, which one? I think we are waiting for DB. Come on DB, you can do it. I'm waiting for you, don't disappoint me. Okay, all right, uh, Vagrant status, let's see. Okay, so we have three VMs. Earlier we did this, now it is not going to work because we have three, right? So we have to specify which one. Okay, host name, uh, IP ADR, IP address is correct, 9.2, exit. SSH app. Host name. IP address. Start three. Exit. Um, I want to do DB. Come on. All right. Uh, host name. IP ADDR. What is it? Dot four. Okay, so we have three VMs with three IP addresses that we wanted. Exit. Now clear the screen. Vagrant. Destroy. I'm going to destroy all three VMs. Clear out the lab. Okay, yes. Shut down VM and delete. Yes. Okay. Let's see, Vagrant, hmm, come on, Vagrant status again, not created, because even though they are present in that file, so what I can do here is I can give the Vagrant file to the developer, and then he can do whatever that he wants, no? They can start developing it. I want to remove that to anyway. R cd dot dot ls rm space hyphen rf three. Okay, so uh, my lab setup is gone. Right? How easy is that? Awesome, isn't it? You can do more awesome things with it if when you combine this with any of the provisioning configuration management tools like Chef Puppet Salt or whatever that you like, whatever that you have in your environment. So thank you for tuning in and you have a great one. Take care.